now on Central ITV Fantasy World Cup compilation. Catchy title. Hello, Eileen Drury. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn, yes, send him in. What's this I hear about you not coming to France? Who's going to cancel the players? Who's going to look after their spiritual welfare? Don't worry, I've already sorted out some replacements for me. And you know you can always trust my judgement. Welcome to the best of Fantasy World Cup Live. On tonight's show, we'll be seeing what was a nearly fatal accident during the making of the Three Lions video. And by continuing in genuine popular demand, we'll be re-showing some of our harrowing encounter with Bridget Nielsen. You'll see a woman savaged by a bear. And a man covered from head to foot in blood. Was he a butcher? Oh yeah, and we'll be saying a big hello to Ken Hoddle. Hello, I'm Kent Hoddle. <laughs> oh dear, now some of you will remember years ago when we were on before, we had footballers on who just said hello to us, but we ran out of them, and now we've just got people who sound a bit like footballers. <laughs> Ken Hoddle didn't sound a bit like anyone. <laughs> <really much. laughs> oh, I'm Ken. He's really called Ken Hoddle, though. Yeah. He's got his, we've got his ID. That is, uh, that's his... <laughs> The club bingo card from <laughs> Anyway, here's uh, a few things we noticed from watching football this week. Now, people say that Glenn Hoddle's faith healer, Eileen Drury, is a phony. But it was her power alone that convinced this man to get out of his wheelchair and referee a football match. <laughs> and Scotland appear to be missing Ali McCoist up front. Certainly Ali's omission from the squad has driven his old mate John Parrott a bit mental. <laughs> Jürgen Klinsmann has said that he's considering retiring. Now, Harry Cantona, of course, went into acting after he retired, but Jürgen's already tried that. I'm with the doctor. They're trying to contact No. There's been a snitch <laughs> And uh, Italy, Norway. Some pranksters working the electronic scoreboard honed in on Bob Wilson's Achilles heel. Hello, good afternoon. It's absolutely boiling here in Marseille. <laughs> And at Glenn Hoddle's 18-minute press conference, just after announcing the England squad, he used the word situation 14 times. Here's a small selection. There was another situation. I think he went into his room. I think them two guys went out an injury. With a total injury situation. And this is becoming a little bit of a Paul Gascoigne situation. <laughs> Possibly in the right situation, you know. Right but in the end, you just can't, you can't worry about all these situations. <laughs> So, have you got any news? Yeah, uh, Alison Molan of Farnham has sent us this uh, giveaway she found in her packet of crisps. It mm. says Brazilian left back Roberto Carlos, famous for his long range gravity defying free kicks, has humongous 52 <laughs> inch thighs. 52, 52 inches? That's what it have, we got, like. have we got a still of Roberto Carlos? A picture of him? Oh, cool. Blind. <laughs> Either he has or he's got a lot in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> But 52 inches. That, that would be... Yeah. Uh, okay. Actually, 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but haven't you got humongous 52 inch thighs? Haven't you? I don't know. Let's have a check. I don't think he's ever measured. There must be. There must be. Tedious and disgusting. <laughs> That's a glandular problem. <laughs> oh, all the bags have gone. Anyone who uh, watched the last show will know that we sent off a group of Scotland fans for the Scotland Norway game with some very comical, inflatable figures. Mm, we did. Uh, as it turns out, this is absolutely true. They got pissed after the show and forgot. Yeah. Them. <laughs> really challenging the stereotype of the Scot there yeah, while doing that. So no, uh, no comical stitch back on that one. No, never mind. We could send someone an inflatable to you. things about this show being live now is that sometimes things will happen in the studio, you know, there'll be noises off camera or whatever, and you get a bit panicked, but you just have to carry on as if nothing's happened. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. Anyway, this is former South African footballer Chippo Rasanyalo making his television debut. But uh, why would I see that because we love this under forever. Under forever. What else? <laughs> Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we love that clip. <laughs> we love it. We watched this at home and we said, they won't laugh at this, no. but we like it. Yeah, we like it. <laughs> <laughs> that, you watch the eyes. Let's see it again. again. Watch the eyes. You must hear something. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, yes. Oh. Oh. Well, yes. Oh, he's terrified. Isn't he just, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what's he so upset about? Who can say? We don't know. We don't know. But basically, we're going to throw this one open for the nation. If you think you know what frightened <laughs> chip. <laughs> <laughs> Us on 07070 782 Now, we had some lovely guests on during the course of the series, but selflessly, we've decided to start the guest section with perhaps the worst guest that's ever been on any show in the history of television. You'd excuse us if we don't actually watch this bit. Oh, my it's goodness. Bridget Nielsen is your show. <laughs> silicone gone to your head or what? <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't notice you sneak in there, but... Um, yes. 
So the yeah. World Cup's about to start. John Michelle and it Bridget. Make the hair oh, a little bit more. You too. <laughs> well, I think Germ Germany lost two wars already. Yeah. So it's time now for them to lose and one. And Italy World lost Cup. against the Swedish. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> Have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen Babies and Botheads? Do <laughs> <laughs> you know what this what this is called in Denmark? Uh, no. An English pie. Then he then he. the game, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? It's the last time we do a charity record for you Romanians as well. <laughs> yeah, well, we have to be paid for the kits they were playing in. <laughs> Under their <laughs> fur. We've got a clip of the Dutch manager from the 70s, right, Renus Michaels. And it's quite an interesting clip, this, right? He's trying We'd to like to know what you think about this, yeah. Dennis, as okay. well. It's, it's weird. He's trying to say the phrase, I'm very happy with the result. But halfway through the sentence, he has a bit of a funny turn. What's this? Completely happy, Renus, or perhaps the finish, not what you expected. A few more goals, perhaps. I'm completely happy, and then says, uh, I have to stay a week with my, my wife in the <laughs> Canarias with the result. What happened to Renus? Has he had a nervous breakdown or what? I'm completely happy and then says, uh, I have to stay a week with my, my wife in, in Los Canarias with the result. Something reveals something very personal about yourself without even realising it. You know, that's, that's a very unusual, I once had sex with a goat. It's <laughs> <laughs> to happen, I think. I know that goat, Dave. <laughs> What a, what a curry that made. Yeah. <laughs> and now, the first in a new series, Great Moments from the Lives of England Managers. Episode 1, rare footage of Ron Greenwood on the lavatory. Great moments from the lives of England Managers. Great Video. You've seen our video, Leslie. No, you? I haven't. Well, I'll just, right. just a little bit of it. Look at it. Right now, just hold that image in mind. That wasn't in fact the first take of this bit. Watch this. <laughs> Oh, Andrew played well, didn't you think? Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, apart from the hairdo, I thought he played very well. Well, it's funny you should bring that up, because um, there are a lot of children right to this show, and they say, you know, we play <laughs> games at, at home, and we'd love to be Colin Hendry. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's not very easy. Well, it is children. Um, all you need is one of these wigs you can get from any um, local hardware store, and, 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 and a thin, flexible sheet of perspex. Right? And what you do, just bear with me on this, I go, uh, you go in there like this, right? <laughs> Do you have any questions for Colin? That's very disrespectful, I think. But Colin, uh, how, did you enjoy the game against Brazil today? Uh, no. <laughs> no, because...
because I have to walk around with a big sheet of perspex on the <laughs> And, you know, I can't breathe. Yeah. You think Ronaldo, can I ask you, ask you this question, Caroline? Yeah. Got a clip here. This is, uh, this is uh, Ronaldo, right? Do you know who he is, Ronaldo? Trust me. There he is. Well, right. Right. And this is his girlfriend. Right. Would you say they were equivalently physically matched? <laughs> I think he's more matched with the person with the green wig on. <laughs> yeah. How did that happen? I'll tell you how it happened. Celebrity. Yeah. And thank God for right, that, yeah. eh? Because mm. <laughs> <laughs> the bloke who essentially looks like a beaver. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I mean a beaver up in the small. Beaver is pretty small. What could be the attraction unless she's got, a, you know, a lot of timber she but wants hacking down? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For the boots, anyway. Do you like them? Let's see, actually, let's, let's see how, how ugly is Ronaldo. Let's see if we can work, <laughs> if we can actually work that out. He's not that ugly. <laughs> 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 I love it when they say that. <laughs> Thinking of hair, can we ask your advice about something? Because, yeah. uh, or both of you. Really. Well, we were watching um, we were watching Mark Lawrenson on the BBC coverage uh, the other night, and we were, we were wanted to know your opinion about something. Here's Mark Lawrenson, right? And we think that his hair is like the roof of a thatched cottage. <laughs> No, it really is, though. You can imagine that, like little country pub, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and we can prove this, because, like, here is, here's Mark Lawrenson, obviously, with his hair. Right, and, and here is a, a fat cocky. <laughs> <laughs> right. And they are. Yeah, look, you can take, you can take that roof off. <laughs> And now on Radio 5, David Meller talks about a dry footballing subject. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, quite frankly, I wish I had a pound for every football trust executive committee I've attended, where I stood up and lobbied for just such an injection of cash to help finance a more careful vetting of the turnstile operative. I can't believe it. The World Cup is starting somewhere. Well, exactly. It's all very well. The Taylor Report! <laughs> <laughs> but if you haven't got a sound financial structure with which to... You get like Roberto Carlos and Ronaldo... I mean, no doubt you've read the government white paper concerning... <laughs> I, I, I myself had drafted committee stage five years ago. Del Piero and yeah. all those... Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. It's your program. Right. We want your view. <laughs> Hmm. I should tell you, Dave was in makeup for two and a half minutes. <laughs> on ITV, like yeah. in between the coverage before the adverts, they have yeah. these little adverts oh, the for Vauxhall things. things, and they are terrible, aren't they? They really annoy me. But we've got a new game that me and Frank are playing, right? What we, we do, when we watch a game, we yeah. try and pick the moment that'll end up as a Vauxhall advert. Yeah. And there was a <laughs> moment <laughs> there was a moment in last night's game which I'm sure eventually will be a terrible Vauxhall ad. Okay, okay. Yes, now the windscreen wipers go like this, they're very efficient. Or <laughs> <laughs> even the front of the car. Oh yes, yes, it's a mentally spacious car. And the wheels go round and round like this. <laughs> Okay, I'll buy that box or Astra. <laughs> you see a lot of funny moments on chat show, but I think the funniest moment ever was on this Polish chat show. <laughs> oh, we love that. <laughs> Have we got one? Stop! Stop, my <laughs> say that. Uh. Not us. So, Terry, we're going to recreate the moment when you bled more than anyone's ever bled before on a football team. Yeah, and it was also in the game when England happened to be wearing the whitest strip they've ever had. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a day for the blokes who like wearing all white. <laughs> Oh, 
You've got the Swedish coverage, then. Yeah, well, we're uh, big fans of their presenters. Gillar ett hundratal av gripits av polisen man hoppar att några beträffande inte ska ta ut och ställa till oväsen på den här stormande matchen. Så att man bildar sin karaktär och sen får man då utgå efter vad som händer. Va? Det, det kommer att bli en tät match, tror jag. Eh, Ingen ska man ha en taktik där man kan... Okay, let's do it. Uh, Dave, you be Roger Lung, who knocked the ball off. Um, I'll be Johnny Ekstrom, who went up with you. And uh, you be Terry Butcher. All right. Play, Arnie Hagerforce. Catch up with Goffo, that is back there. You catch up with Goffo, that is back there. <laughs> so, after that, my head wouldn't stop bleeding. It must have caused quite a stir. Yeah, it was such a talking point that Swedish TV had to draft in a couple of extra presenters. Barnes was funny at that time, but he didn't stop the ball. 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 Now we are up to the press room, as in normal cases, where there is not a lot of people who are afraid of the people. It's good to see you in the morning. It's good to see you in the morning. Steve, you're all done. Varsågod. I'm going to go over and we're going to present not more than three stycken. You're going to be all right, Terry? Yeah, I think it's time to stop now, so I'll be all right. So anyway, Terry, could you still head the ball? Well, I had to improvise a wee bit. Terry, what did you do after the game? Well, I went to hospital, but before that, I did an interview with Swedish TV. Pringle Cardigan of Fling with the Spade Inlet. Mm, flirty, 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 Edinburgh Woolen Mill. Mm. Mm. Anyway, uh, we have with us now England hero Terry Butcher. Terry, how is your head feeling now? Well, I'm still a little bit tender and... Uh, <laughs> talked about the match yet. England's got a great chance of qualifying. We've only got one game left. Well, that's it for the first of these compilation shows. Now, looking back, it wasn't always that easy to do the show, was it? No, you know when Bridget Nelson came on and squeezed me really hard, and I nearly got drunk by osmosis. Mm. Then of course there was the night that we lost to Argentina. Still, we knew what was needed to cheer up the nation that night. Yeah. Jeff Astle recreating this famous football incident. And singing, looking back I can still hardly believe this, Fire starter by the prodigy. <laughs> I'm the trouble starter, pumping instigator. I'm the beer addicted, danger illustrated. I'm a fire starter, Christmas fire starter. You're the fire starter, twisted fire starter. I'm a fire starter, twisted fire starter.